Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Uh, I'm absolutely delighted to be joined by all of my colleagues here in recognizing uh, Myrna Sislin for her contributions to the Jefferson Academy <coughs> Band Program. Myrna is the owner of Middle C Music, the only full-service independent woman-owned music store yes. in the District of Columbia. Middle C Music has been in business in Tenley Town for the past 15 years. And if I've learned anything about Myrna over the years, it's that she's simultaneously a determined and savvy businesswoman, but more importantly, <coughs> one of the most generous and community-oriented people I know. And these attributes certainly presented themselves earlier this year when she personally undertook the very extensive, and I'm sure expensive, restoration project for 100 damaged band instruments at Jefferson Academy. And I'm gonna let Myrna share her story as to why she accepted this challenge, but I'd like to make this one point. This time of year, we call special attention to our small and local businesses. And Myrna demonstrates why we do that. Myrna is not only invested in our Ward 3 community, but she cares about and gives back to others across the district. And she exemplifies the very best of what our small business community has to offer. And I'm thrilled that we're able to recognize her today uh, with this uh, ceremonial resolution. I will not read all the whereases, but they're absolutely fabulous. Uh, but I do want to uh, take one second and ask Councilmember Charles Allen, uh, whose students are represented here. Uh, oh. <laughs> Thank you, Councilor Che. Um, just very briefly, um, Jefferson has just a, an incredible um, pool of talent of young people that are going through Jefferson, uh, as well as just great leadership at the school, but also has a tradition of, of music and of the arts. And so, Myrna, thank you very much. Um, you know, I, I visited the school um, in one of my walkers a couple of years ago. I, I stumbled across a lot of our band equipment that was actually the instruments stored um, just on the floor in a shuttered shower room. Um, and that's just not the way that we treat our instruments, and it's not a way to then tell our students how we value the instruments and the music. Um, and those days have changed, which is great, uh, but your work here just makes them um, uh, just do all the work and, and just makes these instruments what they need to be so that our young people have these great opportunities and talents. So thank you very much. Thank you. Gosh. <laughs> we made it happen. I can't believe we uh, choreographed this so everyone's actually here. First, I would like to thank very much uh, Council Member Mary Che for introducing this resolution, to Council Member Charles Allen for co-sponsoring the resolution, and for the, in, to the entire Council for passing the resolution. Thank you very much. It is my great honor to be here today with DCPS music teacher Jessica Harris, right over there members of the Jefferson Academy band program and some of their newly repaired band instruments. Lift the instruments, guys. Yay for the instruments. <laughs> My family has been in Washington for more than 100 years. My grandfather had a store on Morse Street Northeast and my grandmother had a store on 4th Street Southwest. It was called Ray's Toyland. And believe it or not, there are people still alive today who remember going to see Miss Ray after school and buying candy and pickles. <laughs> My mother attended Jefferson Junior High School, as it was known then, and graduated in 1938. She then went on to Eastern High School, where she met and later married my father. Last May, as part of our annual lobbying effort for music education, NAM, the National Association of Music Merchants, music industry leaders from all over the country came to DC. Traditionally, there's a day of service before the lobbying begins, and this year it was Jefferson Academy. I won't go into details. Oh, when it was determined that 100 of the 130 band instruments at the school were in need of repair, word went out to volunteers to find people who would fix the instruments. I won't go into details, but after getting a number of polite declines, I stepped up and said I, Middle C Music, would repair and maintain, oh my God, the instruments and do it in my mother's memory. And that is what I have done. So far, we have repaired <laughs> close to 50 instruments. And you, and, you know, and you know the best part? 
It is the support of our community that allows Middle C music to give back. It doesn't get better than that. Thank you.